Now, as it is, Governor Dayton appoints all the members of the Metropolitan Council, but there's a bill here at the Capitol that would replace them with local officials from cities and counties. It's being pushed by suburban lawmakers who think the burbs don't have a voice in how the Met Council spends all of its money. It's a reflection on what good governance looks like, and right now we don't have it. Congressman Jason Lewis added a line to a bill in the U.S. House that would strip the Met Council of its ability to disperse federal funding in this region. We now have the only board in the country that is entirely non-elected, making crucial decisions on transportation, on housing, on infrastructure. First, some background on the Med Council. It's a regional planning agency since 1967, known best for wastewater treatment and sewer lines, but also for the Metro Transit, which runs city buses, Metro Mobility, and the light rail lines, which have long been a lightning rod for Republicans who think they're a waste of money. We need to have a county official from each county in the metropolitan area on the Metropolitan Council Governing Board. Good governance right now requires regional solutions more than ever. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry led the pushback against the idea of changing the power structure of the Met Council. Let's just call it out. Because every single one of them is opposed to public transportation and light rail. That's what this is about at the end of the day. Now, it's unlikely the governor will go along with this Met Council makeover because of the way it shifts power from the urban areas to the suburbs. But he may be forced to deal with this as part of a negotiation on another bill. From the Capitol, I'm John Croman.